also have the gallery type and we have different shapes. Have Mr. Shape Elvis Nkrumah is a manager shape, of the CSIR snail breeding project under the Forestry Research Institute of Ghana, Forig. The snail breeder is one of the CSIR's snail farm demonstration centers located at Fumisua near Kumase in Ashanti region. This is Akatina Akatina snail, the dominant species referred to as Nwapa by Akans of Ghana. It bears black and yellow strips on the shell. There is also Ak Akatina magnata, locally recalled Pobiri, found everywhere in Ghana. Akatina folica is the species of snail that climbs trees. Akatina ruculeta is the white snail. The scientists breeding snails discovered that snails come under attack from pests when snails are heaped together. We have this structure and this structure, we've covered every part of it just to avoid a particular a kind of pest. We call it Aludihelia flaviconis. They are the type of pests that normally attack snails, especially, especially when they are congregated like this. And that's the reason why we covered it, every part of it, to avoid the incidence of the mortality in our farm. Another safety device for snails in cage are plantain leaves placed on soil or the substrate. The snails sleep on the leaves or hide under the leaves to avoid pests. The scientists breeding snails point at a wooden cage for snails, saying it was built in 1994 but stood the test of time because the wood is durable. It is recommended over cages built of fiber. The different boxes are the types recommended by scientists for snail farming, depending on weather and pest conditions. There is a cage made of so nylon mesh purposely to deny the snail the chance of escaping. The perforated leaves in the cage are contumary leaves used for stew, but also a favorite feed for snails. Eggs laid by snails are sheltered from direct weather and the newly hatched ones are immediately offered green leaves to feed on and to develop. This is the egg. The old ones, yeah, very soon they will hatch. And those that have started hatching, you see this one just hatched. And you see this one already hatched and it's increasing in size. And they are all over. All over. Yes. So by tomorrow, we have to feed them with green leaves so that from there they start developing. According to the commercialization officer of CSIR Forig, Naomi Apia, the institute offers training in three areas for members of the public and these are beekeeping as well as mushroom and snail farming. Forig has been researching into forest and forest-based related issues for so many years. But we have also distinguished ourselves in some, by offering some form of capacity building to industry players. And we do these things mainly by organizing training sessions in snail farming, beekeeping, and mushroom production. Normally our training sessions are in two forms. We have the theoretical aspect, whereby we normally discuss issues related to each and every technology. So if it's snail farming, siting of the location, breeding, management, disease and pests, and the like. There are 43,000 species of snails, which are grouped under six broad types. Their habitat is dense gardens. Snails have no spinal cords nor brains, but neurons which control body parts. Health benefits of snail consumption include minerals such as iron, magnesium, and calcium. Snails contain essential vitamins like vitamins A, Y, K and B12. Altogether, these minerals boost immune systems of humans. Napoleon Atukito reporting.